Alfred Liberté's Pierre Boucher sculpture in front of Parliament building Pierre Boucher de Boucherville was a French settler. Soldier, officer, naturalist, official, governor, and a noble aristocrat in Nouvelle France or New France. He emigrated from France to New France in 1634 with his father, Gaspar Boucher, a carpenter. At the age of 18, he entered the services of the Jesuits and spent 4 years with the Huron missions at Georgian Bay. He spoke fluent Iroquois languages, of which Huron is a dialect. In 1641, Governor Charles Hall de Montmagny took him into his service as a soldier in the garrison of Quebec City, but especially as an interpreter and agent to the Indian tribes due to his familiarity with the Huron dialect. In this capacity, he took part in all the parleys of the authorities with the Indians. In 1645, Boucher was appointed official interpreter of Indian languages at Trois-Rivières. He rose through the ranks first as corporal sergeant and then as commissioned officer. He was appointed commissary general of the trading post in 1648 and elected captain of the militia in 1651. While in this capacity, he distinguished himself against an attack by the Iroquois in 1653 and concluded a peace treaty with them on favorable terms. The next year, owing to this success, he was named governor of the settlement. In 1661, he was sent to France to represent the colonies. He returned with soldiers, supplies, additional settlers and a commitment of support to the colony of New France by the French king, Louis XIV. Pierre Boucher was the first Canadian settler to be ennobled by King Louis XIV. Reappointed governor in 1662. A position he held until his resignation in 1667. His L'Histoire véritable et naturelle des mers et productions du pays de la Nouvelle France, Volgairement détaillé au Canada, a description of the flora, fauna et native societies in the region was published in Paris in 1664. He was succeeded in the governorship by his son-in-law, René Gaudier de Varenne. He withdrew from public office to establish his seigneury centered on Boucherville on the south shore of the St. Lawrence River near Montreal and extending out well into the Montérégie region. His lands also included parts of the North Shore extending out to La Mauricie and Trois-Rivières. He died at his seigneury at Boucherville, which was named in his honor. Pierre Boucher married Marie Madeleine Crestien, a Huron girl who had been educated by the Ursuline Order of Nuns. She died in childbirth. Their infant son Jacques Hughes did not survive. Pierre Boucher later married Jean Crevier, who bore 15 children. Their descendants took many names and thrived in the diaspora of New France, and many lines are still in existence today. The eldest son, Pierre Boucher, inherited the title and seigneury of Boucherville, which had excellent land in the alluvial floodplain of the Saint Lawrence River. He married his eldest daughter, Marie or Sol Boucher, to René Gaudier de Varenne, governor of Trois-Rivières, under whom he had served. It is not known whether Pierre Boucher received land as dowry. as an award of bravery or during his tenure as governor of Trois-Rivières but later Pierre Boucher the eldest is cited as having a northern Morisie holding having rockier soil which he split into two fiefdoms for his next two sons Lambert Boucher de Grandpré and Ignace Boucher de Grosbois while first surname of the family is Boucher this name is gradually supplanted by the names of nobility which become the new surnames of this diverse genealogical branch surnames in the Boucher line include Montarville or de Montarville, Grand Pré, de Grand Pré, or de Grand Pré, Grobois, de Grobois or de Grobois, Montbrun or de Montbrun, La Perrière or de La Perrière, La Corsière or de La Corsière. Montisambert or de Montisambert, Niverville or de Niverville, Bruyère or de La Bruyère, Le Clerc, Lucier, Marcat, Saucier, Gaudier de Varenne, Le Gardeur de Tilly, Daino de Muy, Sabrevoix de Sermonville. Descendants have spread beyond Canada to places including the United States, Mauritius, France and the West Indies and include such prominent French Canadians and French Americans as Paul Andre Albert and Jade Raymond. 1 to 1 Pierre Boucher de Boucherville, Sieur de Boucherville, 1653 to 1740, second lord of Boucherville, first lord of Montarville. Spouse of Charlotte Denis. 1 to 2 Marie or Sol Boucher, 1655 to 1733, spouse Rene Gaudier de Varenne. 1 to 3 Lambert Boucher, Sieur de Grandpré, 1656 to 1699, spouse of Marguerite Vavrel de Blazon. 1 to 4 Ignis Boucher, Sieur de Grobois, 1659 to 1699, spouse of Marion Margan de Laveltree. 1 to 5 Madeleine Boucher, 1661 to 1739, spouse of Pierre Noël Le Gardeur de Tilly. 1 to 6 Marguerite Boucher, 1663 to 1698, spouse of Nicolas Dano de Muy. 
1 to 7 Philippe Boucher, 1665 to 1721, priest. 1 to 8 Jean Boucher, Sieur de Montbrun 1667 to 1744, his first spouse Francoise Claire Charest, then Michel Francoise Godfrey de Saint Paul. 1 to 9 Rene Boucher, Sieur de la Perrière, 1668 to 1742, spouse was Marie Francoise Maillot. 1 to 10 Jean Boucher, 1670-1703, twin, spouse de Jacques Charles Sabrevois de Bleury. 1-11 Louise Boucher, 1670-1756, twin, single. 1-12 Nicolas Michel Boucher, 1672-1733, priest 1-13 Jacques Boucher, Sieur de Montesambert, 1673-1688, twin. 1-14 Jean Baptiste Boucher, Sieur de Niverville 1673-1740, Twin, spouse Marguerite Therese Hurtle de Lafreniere. 1 to 15 Genevieve Boucher, 1676 to 1766, Ursula Nunn. Thanks for watching.